So my favorite age group is like the really young ones. I don't know, maybe I've always thought that it's because they can't fight for themselves. And it's them and animals that are always abused and their rights are taken away from them. What lights me up inside has to do with creating an environment and having kids like that be able to make their own choices and it's informed choices based on who they are and what they want. A space where it's okay to, to do that. It's not frowned upon to make your own choices. You don't have to please anyone else. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a parent, it's an adult. When someone else has that power over someone, they usually end up misusing it. Mm -hmm. Automatically, the oppressed in this scenario believes that they can break this dynamic anyway. Growing up, I was at a school and I'd have the curriculum and all the studying that I was supposed to be doing and most of the time I'd just leave that and go read some book that I stole out of my father's library. I don't think there's a definite answer for that. Each person figures it out for themselves depending on how they want to live their life. But it certainly isn't to like have some sort of boring job to like go and come back from and to end up like being a consumer. It doesn't make sense. And then the why is never there. No one knows why. Like why do you have to get this job at this prestigious international corporate? Like why? Basically, corporate slave for some reason became the goal. Whenever someone made a different choice, it was looked down upon and I, did, I wasn't okay with that feeling. Like, why are we shaming people for doing something that harms no one? It's making them happy and like more willing to try new things with life and eventually come closer to who they are as a person. I never worked as a teacher as in with a conventional classroom setting or anything. I'd usually go with extracurricular activities or things kids sign up to or stuff like that. And I'd always see but, uh, the, the ramifications of teachers disciplining kids somehow or the child is trying to lie to get that out of this extracurricular activity that they supposedly willingly signed up to. And I could never force a child to attend. I, I just couldn't, even if it was extracurricular and even if it, like, I had to explain that to the mom or have a heated argument about it for like 30 minutes. Maybe because I feel like it kind of was imposed on me somehow that I don't want to do this I, I will, because I feel how horrible it is when you take away a person's choice. I didn't want to do that to someone. I think it all came back when I was reading about different alternative schooling models and the different kinds of history and philosophy books that I was reading and it didn't feel like this is the only option. I do see it happening more often that people are making choices that wouldn't be considered the status quo or the mainstream. I also think that this has been happening for a very long while because before traditional schooling, before all of that, people did learn. But the thing is, with the rise of the factory model and with the rise of such other systems and the other things just fell in the background. That doesn't mean it, they weren't there. I believe this to be the case with pretty much all previously colonized countries. There's this tendency to make the safer choice. It's so deep rooted within us that whatever it is that comes from a foreign standpoint is probably more researched and more organized and more uh, systematic and would work better and we don't have it within us to organize within ourselves. I believe this like feeling, this internalized feeling of inferiority always stops people from taking the risk and always has people like submitting easily to whichever system that is like imposed on them. Especially that we're in a country that was previously in a, a war zone. We've been through so much adversity that it's deep rooted in people's mentality to make safe choices and to avoid the conflict and avoid the risk and just like go to work and come back to work or whatever it is, suck it up and it will go away in 15 years. That depression, it's nothing and all of that. It's, it's not like they feel that they, have, they can make another choice to actually make their life better. Um, I believe that's the biggest challenge, yeah. It's been happening a lot that people admire an idea but are too scared to like take actual steps and like make life changing decisions when it comes to this, especially when it's an education and especially when it's like their child's education, they don't want to risk it. So this is why I think the more exposure this have and the more documented the story becomes and the more replicated it is, 
it becomes less of a risk and more of an actual valid choice for them. Uh, especially if it's someone they know and if it's someone who lives nearby and if it's someone who has similar life conditions and has the same context and lives within the same country. It doesn't become this foreign thing they do elsewhere anymore. This is also a choice, this is also an option and it doesn't have to be like submitting to that factory model everyone's going for. I can't not call it factory model. <laughs>